All right, now here's an interesting update we have received for one of the good luck modules called Theme Park Engine. Let me just press and hold on the Galaxy Store here and tap on Update Applications. You see, we've got a bunch of updates for a few other applications as well. And in this video, I will be focusing on Theme Park Update here. Now let me just tap on Theme Park here. You see the all new version is 1.1.0.18. And in the change log, we've got a few fixes and there is one new feature which is added. The first one says, modified to allow only wallpaper change without theme initialization. This sounds interesting. Let's see how this works in a bit. The second one says improvement of keyboard keycap errors, fixation of blank page appearing in more wallpaper, app stability and other error improvements. So these other three points are all about fixing the errors and uh, stability improvements. Uh, the first one seems to be interesting and it's a new feature. Now let me just scroll down here and let me show you the update details here. You see the updated date is 25th July 2024. Uh, for some reason this app was updated a few days ago, uh, almost about two weeks ago, but now I have got the update. I'm not sure whether you guys have already got this update or not. Let me know in the comment section. Now let me go ahead and update Theme Park application. Let me tap on update. It is just about 10, uh, about 11 MB of update we have here. Now to show you guys what has exactly changed with this update, especially the first point that is mentioned, I really had to spend some time and compare the current version with the previous version. And finally, I have figured out what has exactly changed. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Now let me open the good luck application on both these phones. Let me directly open theme park here. I will open Theme Park here as well. Now this is the updated version, the latest version of Theme Park on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is the S22 Ultra with the previous version of Theme Park. Now let's tap on Create New Theme. I'll tap on Create New. Now here it shows the current wallpaper. I will tap on Next and I'll tap on Next here. Now here you see, based on the same wallpaper, uh, the Theme Park engine has picked up these colors for different uh, elements or different areas of the operating system. And on the top left corner is where we change the wallpaper. Let me tap on this. Now you see we have got options to change and crop the wallpaper here. I will tap on change. Now this is where we can change the wallpaper. Now let me tap on gallery. Now I'll select a different wallpaper here. Let me choose uh, this particular one here. Now I'll tap on done. Now this is where you will see this uh, difference. The all new update brings in this particular option. Uh, it asks me, do you want to initialize your edits? I can select yes or I can select no. And in the previous version, you see the wallpaper and your edits will be initialized. We can either cancel it or we can tap on OK. Now what happens here on the previous version is the wallpaper as well as your edits will be initialized. So your edits for all the other areas of the theme, let's say keyboard, uh, notification panel or quick panel, on all these areas, the colors will change because it will pick up the color from the wallpaper and those wallpaper colors will be applied for all other elements here. Now let me tap on OK here on the previous version. That's the only option we have. And when I go back, you see all the other areas have got the color from this particular wallpaper. Uh, the Theme Park engine has picked up a particular theme from this particular wallpaper. Whereas here on this uh, new version, we can either continue the or initialize the edits uh, for the other areas as well, or we can only change the wallpaper by keeping all the other edits as it is. Now let me tap on No. You see the wallpaper has been changed but the rest of the color from the previous wallpaper is exactly the same here. You see, the theme is from the previous wallpaper. I have just changed the current wallpaper here. Whereas on the previous version, it will initialize the entire theming process. It will take the colors from the latest wallpaper and it will apply it on all other areas. As you can see here, this is the wallpaper I selected and it initialized the entire theming process here and picked up the colors for these areas here. Whereas on the latest version, I have an option to keep the theme for the rest of the areas and select only the wallpaper or I can select the wallpaper and initialize the entire theming process. Which means we now have an option to choose. We can set a different wallpaper for the home screen without affecting the color palettes which were selected previously from the previously selected wallpaper. That is the all new change we have got here. Let me know what do you think about this change? Does it make any sense to you? Would you be using this feature? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I have left a new wallpaper for you guys in the description to download. You can go ahead and download it. And if you're interested in these uh, widgets, both of them are from a premium KWGT widget packs. This is from One UI KWGT pack. This is from MIUI 14 KWGT pack. You need to have KWGT Pro application on your phone and buy these widget packs and then install it on the home screen. That's how it works. Now, if you're interested, the links are in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've already subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button if you find this video useful. You guys take care and stay safe. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.